Hi there again from Camp Seagull. I'm the Nature Guy and today I would like to talk to you about two species of owls. We have on this side the great horned owl which is much bigger than this other one which is the long-eared owl. Now first of all owls are, are really interesting. They have these very large eyes that allow them to see uh, even at low light at night. But what's different about owls than any other bird is that their eyes are forward facing like a human's. All other birds, they've got an eye on both sides of the head, like a mallard or a robin, or think of your favorite bird. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, eyes are just placed differently. With owls, they're uh, pointing straight ahead, and it gives it a face that's a lot more human-like. And so even little toddlers know an owl when they, when they see one. Now, uh, their, their sense of sound is, uh, of course, very important if they're hunting at night. They use sound quite a bit, and I'm going to talk about the ears for a moment. But I, I want to talk about the names of these owls. So this great horned owl, these aren't horns. <laughs> they're, they're just feathers, okay? They kind of look like maybe horns, but they're just uh, sort of ornaments, I suppose. Um, and this one, the long-eared owl, these aren't its ears, okay? Uh, so they're kind of fake names for, for these owls. It doesn't really reflect horns or their hearing. Um, Hearing is something very, very different. So their sense of hearing has to do with these uh, spheres around their eyes or what we call a facial disc. I'll come a little closer and you can see that um, the eyes are there, but there's this facial disc which acts like a parabolic microphone focusing uh, the sound into their ears on both sides, just a little lower than their, than their eyes. So uh, ears down here with the sound being funneled into them, kind of like our earlobe helps funnel sound uh, into our ear uh, inside of our head. So uh, they have very good sense of hearing because of this amplification, but it has nothing to do with the ears of a long-eared owl or a great horned owl. Now what is also interesting is their ears are lopsided in owls because uh, they not only need to tell uh, where the sound is coming from left and right, which is the left and right ear, just kind of like we do when the sound's louder from over here, we turn and we say, oh, there's the sound. But they also need to be able to uh, detect the position of the sound uh, up and down in front of them. And so one ear is higher than the other one so that the sound comes just subtly different and they know, okay, the, I hear the sound down here or I hear the sound up there. So it's very interesting to learn about how uh, owls sense the environment. But the lesson I think we ought to take away from this is about the names. These are a great horned owl and it's not even horns. Or a long-eared owl and that's not even its ears. I think there's a possibility that we could call ourselves Christian, but not live like a Christian. And wouldn't that be a sad thing? I think it's a great idea if people look at us and say, man, I, I like what I see. I want to know more about their God. It would be horrible to say, for someone to say about us, I, I don't want to be a Christian if that's how they act. So our name is really important, and we have a, a, a very serious responsibility to behave and act like we call ourselves Christian. Well, that's our lesson for today. We'll see you again next week. Bye now.